Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, I think Sputnik kind of puts it best when it comes to Israel right now in their title of their article, Israel and Catch-22. Doggone if, they, if it retaliates against Iran and doggone if it doesn't. Well, that's the uh, polite way of putting it there. Uh, Prime Minister uh, Benjamin Netanyahu signaled on April 17th that Israel would decide on its own how to respond to Iran's retaliatory attack. For its part, Washington is urging Tel Aviv to show restraint. Israel's war cabinet met on April the 16th to discuss potential response to Iran's Saturday strike, avenging the death of two Iranian generals, but did not come to the conclusion. On Wednesday, Netanyahu told a cabinet meeting that while Israel's allies have provided all kinds of suggestions and advice to Tel Aviv, that the Jewish state will pick, it, pick options on its own. I'm sure they will. You know, after all, if you think about it, you know, Israel's uh, or Netanyahu's under a lot of pressure from his within his own coalition, his own uh, uh, cabinet members, especially Smotrich and uh, Ben Gavir, pushing for a retaliatory strike as quickly as they possibly can. Now, the odd thing is. When I think about that, the one thing that comes to mind is like in this video here, this is Smotrich right here, uh, and he is uh, there in Israel encouraging a mob to attack Palestinians. Look at this here. This is Israeli government leaders. <laughs> You wonder why the Israeli government is in a total disarray when you've got leaders like this uh, who go and incite violence with Palestinians just to incite violence. Just to incite the violence. And so Smotrich, uh, one of... Uh, one of Netanyahu's cabinet ministers there, uh, you know, that, that's exactly what Israel gets there. So anyway, so they, they are in an awkward position, but yet Iran is saying that if they're attacked directly, they will unleash a much heavier strike on Israel. The thing is, you have to remember, Israel also has the Samson option. They are a nuclear power. They do have nuclear weapons, but they also know that Iran does too. All this talk about stopping Iran from getting nuclear weapons is only smoke and mirrors for, for American consumption so that we send more money to Israel in order to be able to fund and back all the uh, fighting that goes on over there to start with. But I will tell you this, though. Hal Turner showed here on his uh, website there, though, that the U.S. So is not taking this so lightly. They realize that an attack on Iran could go nuclear, and if it goes nuclear, it could cause Russia and the U.S. to go nuclear. Uh, and this video here, as well as the one here on Twitter here, this one here, though, was not at nighttime. Or, excuse me, this was at nighttime, this one here. The other, Al Turner was showing a daytime preparation, loading the planes with nuclear weapons there as a exercise three days ago. But this one's at night. Is it an exercise, or is the United States really getting ready for a nuclear war. John Wood Tribulation Now sent me these uh, sent me this video here on Twitter there, as well as Russia also moving their own ICBMs around. And of course Russia does that quite frequently, kind of flexing their muscle, letting the world know that if they have to go the, the full length of war, they'll go all out as well. But it's not just Russia. It's not just the United States also showing this nuclear flexing of the muscle there. You've also got North Korea bringing out one of its latest weapons now, a new nuclear weapon, and allegedly a hypersonic nuclear weapon. Seems like China and Russia are sharing all that hypersonic technology with all their allies because both Iran and now North Korea have that type of technology. So, you know, the question is, is where are we headed? 
Where are we headed? You know? Also, and not besides Smotrich acting the way he does and everything, this video here shows women that are their their husbands were taken uh, captive and they're protesting outside of Netanyahu's home and this is the way they're treated by um, Israeli police there. I want you to see this here. They're going to start jerking them around, smacking them around and beating them. That's Israeli police there for, and this is, these are women that have husbands that are held hostage. And that's the way they're being treated. I mean, there's something mentally wrong with Israeli authority to do like that. Mentally wrong. I mean, it's just, it's insane. Smotrich, nutcase. And then, of course, in the UK, if you're trying to peacefully protest for Palestinian rights, you get That's beat up there, need, too. You fucking dickhead. So they got this guy here squishing his head in the ground and stuff, all because he's protesting against uh, the war against Palestinians in Gaza. So... Mm. What is the world coming to? It is really a total disaster. Also, too, in Dubai, um, India, this uh, picture of the airport there, underwater. Uh, I certainly hope it is only taxing and not you know, trying to take off, right? This is nuts. All this rainfall. I tell you, we've got some serious issues happening on the earth. Anyway, listen, one thing I want to tell you guys, too, tomorrow... Uh, we do our teaching that we have. You have I have 500 spaces available. Uh, it's also posted on patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. Uh, and I'm going to be dealing with the book of Daniel chapter 11 tomorrow, going into deeper, going into the translation of that, seeing what we can find in there. So hopefully you can come join us. It's at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And that's at www.steven, S-T-E-V-E-N, Benun, B-E-N-N-U-N.com. You just show up at 8 o'clock and you can watch that broadcast there. Certainly it'll be a blessing for you. Another thing too is that I'll be doing, hopefully in the morning, I'm going to tackle that issue down there in Antarctica. I think I finally know what the issue is. And it's something that I've told you about before that was coming. A couple of different possibilities. Anyway, we're going to talk about that. I'm going to share that on Patreon as well. God bless you. Have a great night. And uh, I would definitely be more in prayer now than ever before. Good evening.